Hi everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to Best Laid Plans where we have a planning, organizing, home planning, happy planning, decorative planning video every Wednesday. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us. Um, and today we are going to be talking about our furry friends um, and how to make a little pet micro planner. So you may have seen these from the Happy Planner, um, but they also have a similar style that you can find at the Dollar Tree now. Um, so uh, there's definitely some affordability here. These are also pretty easy to make and you just need four discs. I got the um, Squad Girls one in my last um, like cyber haul and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for and I I have been trying to find a good place to put that information and I just haven't had a home for it. So we're going to be using this to make a little pet planner that's going to have all of our things we go to the vet for, for our animals. Um, I did make this for my dogs and cats. So if you have a different type of pet, you're probably gonna have different needs. Just make sure whatever type of pet you have that you look up what type of like vaccinations or other things that it, it might need um, so that you're customizing it to your um, pet but we're just going to be using some basic materials so you'll need a micro planner um, and you don't have to do a micro size I just think that it's really easy for this project I am using the pets sticker book from the happy planner um, you can obviously just use whatever stickers you have I just happen to have this and it has like vet and grooming and stuff specific stickers so um, I'm going to be using it to make this so if you have this have it handy I also pulled um, some colorful box stickers um, just because I needed some extras and then for each different pet that you have um, you'll want to get a different washi tape. So I'm gonna use this for Pebbles, this for Figaro, and this for Sherman, um, my black and white brigade. Um, and then I also got a corresponding mild liner color to go with each. And I also pulled the corresponding pen color um, to go with those. So. This is obviously just a little bit extra for decorative planning, but I like to have them all be their own color. So I'm having Figaro be like a gold yellow. I'm gonna have Pebbles be pink and Sherman be this kind of minty teal blue green. You'll also need just a regular pen to write with. And then I have uh, pulled one narrow washi, um, just of your choice. And we're gonna be using this to make our uh, different checklists that we're gonna need for our vaccinations and other things for our pets. So that is basically everything we're using. I also pulled scissors and a washi cutter. I would also pull some photos. You can print them. Um, I have a little Polaroid mint printer, so I printed those on, um, on their stickers. Um, but if you just wanna cut them out of photos you already have or print them on your computer, um, then that will be a really nice addition to this as well. I actually have my fur babies running around in the background playing, which is nice. Um, so if you hear some weird noises, it's just them. I'm going to show you what I already have finished um, before we do one for a dog and one for a cat. I went ahead and I did my um, little puppy Pebbles page. Um, so I made a little index page for her and it just has her name here. And I added some washi um, at the bottom and a little um, colored box, a uh, colorful box and a little paw print. And I just wrote down a description of her. Um, so she is a black and white wire hair fox terrier dachshund mix. She is female, she is spayed and under 20 pounds. So that is just helpful for um, having that description in case something ever happens like your pet is lost or something and you need to give uh, or you need to give information about your pet um, to your doctor um, just to have that there. And then on the other side I have a picture of Miss Pebbles. Um, that I added 
Then I have a diet and care routine. So the food that she eats, um, for her, she has um, a special medicated bath because she's got sensitive skin from her dachshund side. Um, and then whatever type of medicine she takes monthly. Um, I also wrote that she gets her ears cleaned as needed. And then the other side of that, um, her vet's names, um, what does she have in terms of her grooming routine, um, and then I'm going to be writing in her microchip number here. So just basic identifying information so that you have what you need. Um, and then I have... <laughs> Guys, let's see if I can show them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Apologies for the segue of cuteness there. Um, but these are the pages they'll be making for all of my pets. Um, and the first is going to be a teeth cleaning schedule. Uh, Pebbles starts a little bit later because she is a puppy, so she can't have her teeth cleaning yet. It's the same thing for um, like her three-year rabies vaccination. She's too young for it right now, so she has to yearly. So um, just know that depending on your pet's age, that they may have different needs um, than like uh, if they're just like adult, um, like senior pets have different needs. So um, you're going to want to customize these lists to what regular vet procedures, teeth cleaning and grooming things your pet needs. So I have her teeth cleaning here and then she really doesn't get any grooming um, besides getting her nails done and dremeled. Um, so I'm going to just write the last date that they were done here on this page. And then we have the vaccination pages. So for our dogs, um, that's going to be the rabies vaccine, um, DAP, Lyme, Lepto. And then there are two regular vaccinations dogs get yearly um, that have two shots. The first is the canine influenza. So there's the first shot and a booster. And then Bordetella, uh, which is every six months. So there are two doses of that each year as well. Um, so we're going to be making these pages for my other puppy, uh, Sherman. And we're also going to be doing one for my cat. So you'll see the, um, the, the differences for dog and cats. Um, some of the vaccines are the same, but um, felines have sort of a different um, set of things that they need. So we're going to be making these pages together next. So for each of your pets, you're going to need about six pages if you do front and back. Um, and I am going to start with planning for a dog for vet records. So I have Sherman here. He is a Malti Shih Tzu or Malshi. Um, and he's my little baby boy. I love him. Um, so we're going to do him next. And I have chosen kind of a light blue mint color um, for his pages. So I'm just going to add a colorful box here. And then I'm also, um, just for decoration, going to add some washi on the bottom. And I'm going to have it on the front and back. So I'm just going to start it here and then wrap it around and trim it on this side. And we are going to, on this side, write the name of our pet. So I'm going to write Sherman Little Paw, because that is his little nickname. And we're going to write a description of our pet, and that should include their coat, um, coloring, um, their sex, their spay or neuter status, and their weight. Um, you may have different um, categories if you have a different kind of pet than like a cat or a dog, um, but those are kind of standard, just a standard description. So I'm going to write um, black and white curly non-shed coat and I don't write the age of my pets because I want to be able to continue to use this as they grow um, so that's just something that I I can keep separately um, you may if you want to uh, if you've adopted your pet kind of 
um, say adopted date and then um, what age they were when you adopted them. I hope you're adopting. Always adopt, never shop. Um, there's so many animals that need a loving home out there. So that'll be his title card. And then I'd like to add a little paw print sticker from our pets sticker book right here. Kind of keep that uniform. And then I'm going to add this little sticker of Sherman on the back here. So there is his little title page. So the next page is going to be a diet and care page. Um, and I just found this little label in the color scheme I wanted and I'm going to add it at the top. And write diet and care. And then I'm going to try and find a sticker in this sticker book that looks a little bit like Sherman. And I think this sticker is probably the closest I'm going to get um, for him. This is um, if his coat's really long. So we're going to just put that there. And then I'm going to go into my colorful boxes. Um, and if you don't have colorful boxes, um, you can use your mild liner to make squares um, that you're gonna be writing on. Um, so you don't have to have the colorful box stickers directly to do this. I just am using them because I have them. So we're gonna put this one here. And I'm kind of breaking them up on the page so that um, it makes a little, a little bit more visual interest. And then I'm gonna do green for him as well. So now I'm going to go into my pet sticker book uh, and we're going to add some icon stickers. So next to this first one, I want to add a little bag of food. And then on this last page, there are some stickers of bowls. So I'm going to grab one of those and put it just next to that. And I'm just gonna write the name of the pet food that he eats and we use Rachel Ray dish. Then he also takes, um, in this bottom corner here, um, I wanna do the regular monthly medicine. So every month he gets Sentinel, which um, does heartworm flea tick prevention. Um, the 11 to 20 pound RX. I'm just gonna put each month. And I will go into this page here where it says meds. And I'm just gonna take one of these stickers and set it here. And then for Sherman, I'm just going to put a bath time sticker, but he gets special grooming. So um, he gets special grooming every other month. Um, so he has a very long coat. Um, a lot of non-shedding dogs do, and that means that um, I go to the groomer to get him groomed. So it's not, um, so I can cut some of his hair myself, but his hair will grow out and then he will have to get groomed. And if you have a dog like I do um, that is like that, um, when they get groomed, it's like you have a completely different dog <laughs> when you go pick them up. Uh, but I wanted to note that uh, because that is something that is really special to Sherman. Now we're going to flip this over and I'm just going to look at my one I made for reference. On the back, we are going to write 
my vets are and I'm gonna take a sticker from my colorful boxes book and just write the name of his vets And then I, um, for him, um, my little special note is actually going to be about phobias and special meds because he does have some phobias and he has anxiety. Um, so I just want to write those down so that I have them. Um, so I'm going to take some of these little paw prints, um, icons, um, little bullets and Put those in so he's got um, separation anxiety and the reason that he has that is because he um, is a house fire survivor well all, we're all house fire survi survivors um, so uh, that um, just that's how it affected him he's also I'm scared of thunder and fireworks. And I'm going to go back to this medication sticker. And I'm just going to take another one here. Um, he gets special medicine on the 4th of July. It's, um, That is uh, his sort of special thing. Um, and I didn't used to do that, but I find that like basically if I don't have him on some kind of um, drug to help him be less anxious um, and, and get more sleepy, that the 4th of July is, it, it'll like give him a heart attack. Like I, I hate fireworks so much, um, but it's just a reality of living in the U S July 4th, people are going to light off fireworks. So, um, I make sure, and I do have to pay out of pocket for this, um, that he does get a special um, anxiety medicine for July 4th. So the last thing here is I'm just going to find a small blue colorful box here and that is going to be to write his microchip number on, which I will look up and do later. But that is our front and back of his care and um, vet reference sheet there. So that'll be very helpful to have for him. The next page we're going to do is for teeth cleaning um, and grooming record. So for Sherman, he may have um, more pages for grooming than Pebbles since he really does have to go to the groomer every other month. Um, so I will probably make some extra sheets for him in the future. But just for the sake of this video and showing you how I'm doing this, I'm going to just make the one page. So I have my little narrow washi tape and I'm going to go about yay down, down to like this disc hole um, and we're going to do our washi there and then we're also going to cut this in half with washi so we're going to go like that And then I'm going to find the brush your teeth sticker from the pet book and I'm going to stick it up here and then I'm going to write Sherman's teeth cleaning. And then on this side, I am going to write 2020 through as far as I can go, probably I think 2029. Um, and I am then going to go back into my vet records and 
um, fill in the ones he's had and then uh, as I get them in the future I will write the date on this side so I know when his last teeth cleaning was. Sometimes I space these out um, but often I'll just try to get them done every year uh, just because it's it's better for your pet to have um, their teeth clean have less dental issues. So I got through 2028, which is fine. I can always add more. Um, so I am going to do the grooming next. And I think that I'm going to start it on a new page. Just because, like I said, he gets a lot of grooming done. So um, I will probably put like additional teeth cleaning on the back of here. And I'm going to start the grooming one here. So for this page, we're basically just going to be writing the date that they had the service. So we know how long it's been. So I'm going to take the coordinating washi that I chose. And I am going to add it here and then from the pet sticker book I'm gonna go and find the sticker that says grooming and we're gonna put that right up here and then I'm going to write Sherman's name and then I will just be filling in with my pen the last dates that he had his appointments so that is what is going to be there. So the next three pages are all going to be for um, keeping a log of the regular vaccination for your dog. So we're going to divide the front and back um, with our narrow washi. So leave enough room that you could write um, the year and day, uh, the sorry, the month and day um, on one side. And we're going to write the year on the other. So I'm going to that right here okay, and we're going to do the back as well so that is the front and the back and we're going to make two that look like this and then for the third one, we're going to do the shots that your pets get twice a year. So that um, for dogs is the canine influenza. There's the first shot and a booster and then um, Bordetella, which is every six months. So for those, we are um, going to do the same thing at the top. So it's going to look like that. So I'm just going to go over to the back. So that looks the same, but then we are going to make the room for two dates on the side. So we're going to have the one here, and then the second here. So it'll look like this and this. Then on the first page, I'm gonna go back to the pet sticker book and find a vaccine sticker. And I'll try to get a mint one to keep the color scheme. There we go. And I'm gonna put it here. And then write the name of the pet. So that's Sherman. And the next thing we're gonna do is write our vaccine names. So we're gonna start with the big one, which is rabies, every year or every three years um, for the rabies vaccine. I try to get the three-year dose. And then DAP, which is uh, canine distemper, um, and a lot of other stuff, um, I think as well. Just It's a very important vaccination, especially for puppies. And then we're gonna write Lyme and leptocirrhosis. That is um, 
one of the other major yearly vaccinations that your dog will get. And then for these, we're going to have our canine influenza and there is a first shot and a second shot for that. So I'll put the date of the first shot and the second shot and then the year here. And we're going to do the same thing for Bordetella. So first dose, second dose, because that's every six months. It'll be twice a year. So these are going to be our cards for those. And then what I'll do is I'll go into my vet records and I will look at the date in like 2020 or wherever that he got the shot. Um, and then I will put like a star for three year or I'll put one year next to it. Um, so I know which one and then write the day here and just do that for all of their vaccinations. But that is really everything for Sherman section. So now that that is ready, I'm going to do our cat one. So now we're going to do a cat um, set for Figaro here, and I already have his little title card ready for writing, so I am going to put his black and white again. Um, long hair, and he is a Maine Coon Persian mix. Male neutered and about 20 pounds. <laughs> he is a really big cat and he's definitely bigger than both my dogs. So I'm going to add this yellow and gold up here. And then I'll put his little picture on the back and yes, that is a dog chew bone that he stole from my dogs. <laughs> So you know who rules the house. So this is done now and we're going to move on to the diet and care page for Figaro. So just like I did before, I'm going to grab one of those little flags from my colorful boxes book. And it doesn't look like they have a regular yellow one. So I'm just going to take this one that has a star. And I'll put it here. So now we're going to find a picture of a cat that looks a little like Figaro. And this one has little white socks. So I think that'll do. Yellow food bowl and food bag. Now, I don't currently have him on any kind of special medicine, but he does have his litter box. And I want to write down the kind of litter, so I'll put this clean up sticker here. And then I'm going to put this wash bowl sticker right here because one of Figaro's issues <laughs> is that he likes to get all of the water bowls dirty. So I'm always having to clean up in the morning um, or in the evening um, when the water's getting low because he'll have like washed his hands uh, or his paws in the dog food water, um, the dog water bowl. So yeah, <laughs> that's what that's for. So there is that side done now, and we're gonna go ahead and do the back. So let me grab my other little flags. And I um, am kind of being redundant by putting the same vet information over and over, but you may have a different vet for your cat versus like your dog. Um, if you have horses, for instance, like they're specialty vets. So I like to put it on each animal in their section. 
a nail trim sticker and I'm just gonna write um, and brushing is needed as well because he does shed and it's just nice to brush his coat out so he doesn't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna find a grooming sticker. And I don't wanna actually have this all here so I'm going to put just the groom part. So I'm just gonna cut this sticker. There we go. And then we just need his microchip number. So that is his done. And he will also have regular teeth cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of those cards and then we'll talk about vaccines for cats. For cat vaccinations, there are four main ones. They also get Bordetella every six months, but they will get their um, FRVCP, which is their like feline distemper, uh, the feline leukemia vaccine, and the um, rabies vaccine. Um, those are the basic ones for most cats. I have a totally indoor cat. Um, I forgot to mention, so there's a reason that it's not on a bunch of extra things. I don't let my cat outside ever. Um, he is fully indoors. So if you have an animal that goes both indoor and outdoor, you're probably going to want to talk to your vet and see if your cat has other needs um, in terms of uh, medicine and protection. So your pages are going to look the same for... Um, this one and then the front of this one and then we're going to do the Bordetella on the back and we're just going to do that just like we did before. There we go. So let's write in our cat vaccines. Um, first things first, let's get our vaccine sticker from our pets book. And we're going to write Figaro. And we'll do rabies. I have to check for both him and Sherman because they do get the three-year vaccination for that. And then FRVCP and FELV, which is the feline leukemia vaccine. And then Bordetella. So now we have everything set for Figaro's information. And he doesn't have any other special grooming or anything. So um, his only thing is that he is a senior cat. So I will potentially change his food if it upsets his stomach. So we moved to more expensive food um, from another mostly expensive food. Um, trying to make sure that he has what he needs. He's very picky about like the kind of litter in his litter box. I feel like this space here doesn't have anything in it um, and it's bothering me. So I'm going to go into the book and just get a ball of yarn and a mouse. There, that makes me feel better. So that is everything for Mr. Figaro. I also want to um, have some bonus pages and uh, just references really. So I want to have the contact information for my vet. And then on the back of this, I also put the contact information for our local humane society, um, just in case I ever need to contact them for anything. So that is very, very important to have. Um, so if you have a groomer or a hospital or boarding or 
day school or anything for your animal that you need to know the phone number of um, or the hours of and address, then I would add that as one of your little reference cards. And then I created these lists um, as just an, a reference point for myself. And the information comes from PetMD, and I will leave it um, linked in the description box. But these are just reference lists of toxic plants um, and foods for dogs and cats. In the back, I have the Pet Poison Hotline's number. So in case they ever ingest any of these um, or are having issues or I think that they might have aided in something that's um, causing poisoning symptoms, I immediately can call the pet poison hotline um, and figure out what I need to do. And of course, um, if it's an emergency, call you the emergency vet in my area. So as a final touch, and this is totally optional, you do not have to do this, I just thought it would be really fun. I do have some extra photos that I had of my um, dogs and cat and I thought it would be cute to make a this micro planner belongs to um, just for funsies. So I am going to put a little mild liner here. I'm just going to do the gold and we're going to write this micro planner belongs to and I'm just going to write my name just for fun. Because you got to write your name in all your planners, right? And then I think I'm going to put some more photo stickers on just to customize it further. I think it's fun to open up the book and see my pets. And you can see that all of my animals are black and white. Um, so we call them the Black and White Brigade. <laughs> They're pretty cute. I might trim this one a little bit. So cute. I'm going to add a sticker on this too because it just seems like fun. So that'll be the front. And then on the back page, uh, just for giggles, I have um, <laughs> I have some really cute photos of my pets just with their butts out. Uh, this is Figaro being really naughty. He likes to get into the sink. <laughs> so I'm going to also add these ones. And here is my little finish title page with all of my animal photos on it. I love it. I'm going to add it into my planner. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little how to plan um, making a planner tutorial. I have always wanted to do something like this for vet stuff and I just wasn't sure how, but I think this micro planner is going to be great. I can come back and reference it when I need to. I can add to it and it's going to let me keep everything just really nice and um, together. Bonus though, I can also throw this in my purse when I go to the vet because it's so small. Um, and then if they ask when it was the last time they had this vaccination or whatever, I can just flip through to the page, find the information and let my vet know. So this is going to be so helpful. Um, like this video and comment below. Let me know um, if you have pets and uh, do you have a pet planner? Or are you planning to make one? Um, I'd love to uh, see that. Um, if, if you are, um, tag me on Instagram at Valkyrie Plans and I will be back next Wednesday with a, another planning video. So I will see you all soon. Bye!